All right, Jason Samkoviak, Traditional Bowling Wilderness Podcast. We're about to kick off here. And uh, first day, South Carolina, Pig Hunt 2022. And uh, everybody's getting ready. John's in the woods doing his business. Some of his hunters are over here getting stuff together and getting his uh, his AR ready. And uh, we're getting stuff together and setting ready to go hunt. Uh, I am actually taking my 4570 today, hoping to shoot a pig with that. And then I will be going right back to my longbow. But I want to kill a uh, pig with that gun. So we're going to see what happens there. But uh, uh, just breaking daylight right now. So getting ready to head out there and uh, give it a shot for the first uh, first day and uh, not very flooded. Water levels are very low this year, where normally it's pretty flooded out. Uh, it is not very flooded right now, so we uh, might hit this WMA, and we might actually hit a few other ones. So uh, very excited to get in and see what we come up with and how it goes. So stay tuned. There is some huge gators in here. Look at the size of that one, too. Huge gators. That is quite the pig nest. Look at this thing here. Okay. Well, look at this when I come down low to put it into perspective. They really bundled that up pretty good. Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Jason Samkoviak here, and we are actually, this is our, would be like my pig vlog number five, but I'm actually here. I got the Henry's, we got Colby, which you guys know if you follow his YouTube channel. I was telling you about his stuff. This is the future of bow hunting, future woodsmanship, all that kind of stuff. Then we have his dad, Chad, who's actually the best father of a hunter you've ever seen. He's amazing at this whole thing, and that votes all, every second he's got to get his son out there hunting, and so we we are here, and uh, we are in Georgia, and we are chasing pigs in this beautiful area. There they are right there. Say hi, guys. Howdy, son. Yep, and if you don't know, Chad's one of the most amazing taxidermists in the world. He's the one that did that bear mount for Bella. That information will be on here for you, so definitely check him out. These guys are out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and they flew down here to uh, chase some pigs. We got on two pigs once already this morning. We've seen one. And uh, we we caught up to it. How far did we get to that dude before he busted us? Probably five, probably five, eight yards. Five, eight yards, yeah, and super thick stuff. So we didn't even know he was there and we busted him. But uh, we're getting ready to head in and cover and start breaking through here and see what we can find. So uh, tag along with us, see what we do. All right, here we are. We just, it's uh, officially 12.30. We've done the morning. How many pigs did we see so far? What did we see? We saw. We saw one earlier in the morning. That was a boar, that lone was, boar. Yeah, boar. And then when we were eating lunch. Uh, well, not really. It was supposed to be our lunch. Now we got to go to lunch. You yeah, ate all our true. lunch. <laughs> we didn't even let first, me first finish one. my pop tart. <laughs> and they were crossing so, the road. Um, 11 of them. I, yeah, I saw, I didn't see as many as they did, but we, uh, Tried to, to circle to yeah. where they were, and then we kind of did like a grid, but uh, we circled around backside because of the wind. And uh, yeah, the wind was getting funky on us. The kept wind trying was, to get wind was all over the place, but uh, we didn't end up um, actually seeing them. But there were how many piglets with them? There, there was two. I saw two full size, two sows, um, two. Um, smaller ones, not what do they call them, gilts or something. I think they call them that they're not ready uh, to breed yet. And then there was about six or eight piglets. Yeah, so yeah, the, the piglets were cool to see the little tracks. Yeah, and then the blocky, like you were saying, how blocky they are. We just uh, checked over there. It was this. Um, we just did 1.8 miles through here 
looking and it looks like great pig sign yeah, and we, we had amazing sign on the road we did both sides and and it was a little swampy and yeah it was good there but there was this like woods patch in the middle of this big field which um, spot just back to, there just to try oh yeah um pointed out two we saw two doe yeah two deer and we've been in good rooting as you can see this is older but we've been in rooting and rocking through it uh, the whole way so it's good sign so far the morning's been pretty solid um what we're gonna do now is we're going to go grab lunch um because colby ate every single person's lunch there was <laughs> So we're going to go grab lunch and then uh, uh, we are going to head over to a, a couple of um, little mini lakes that are in here and maybe see if we can't see a gator and then we are going to be ready to hunt this evening. So uh, they got two days to hunt. Today, day one, like I said, we've been in pigs all morning. You know? So yep, so we're, uh, we're making it happen. So stay tuned. We'll see uh, what we got. Take your time and when you're ready, go ahead. Okay, it is 3.58, so it makes it basically four o'clock. And this is the life of a very hardcore YouTuber here. YouTube slash hunter slash fisherman slash woodsman slash get her done when he's not celebrity status. And he's not working hard in the woods. This is how we find him doing his part of pig scouting on our trip as we're making it happen. So that there is the infamous and famous everlasting Colby Henry at his <laughs> finest. Just thought we'd put that out there for you. Thanks. <laughs> We've been out here for about an hour. The Henrys left yesterday. Um, they came in, Colby and Chad, you saw some of that footage. South Carolina was a total bust, as you know. And uh, so it's my first day uh, since they left getting back out. They left yesterday, I went out this morning. Running out of time, we're leaving back to Michigan here in a few days. And uh, you know, go back there for pressure washing season. And I'm trying hard to get a pig with this 4570. I've only killed one animal with a gun, a big game animal with a gun in my life, and that was a doe last year with this 4570 I have on my shoulder. I want to shoot a pig with one. You know, like I said, I'm a bow hunter. I'm a traditional bow hunter. I don't use guns a whole lot, but I really love this rifle. I love the sights that are on it. I love everything about it, and I really want to use it uh, to kill a hog with. And then each year I may try and kill a deer during gun season and a hog during, you know, somewhere with it as well too. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot, this open-sided lever gun. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but we're in the stick nasty stuff you can see here around me. And I'm trying to poke my way through here. There's, there's a lot of hog sign in here. Tremendous amount of hog sign. So we're going to be fiddling our way through this stuff for the morning and see if we can't find it just cutting and sneaking our way anywhere we can through here till we try and find hawks it's midday here it's actually morning but it will be getting into midday they're going to be bedded down somewhere and we want to try and find them um now as far as this rifle to show you this is the henry 4570 as you can see there and the sights on it are ranger point precision it's a uh, fiber optic front let me zoom in a little bit so you can see but it's a fiber optic front blade 
And in the rear is a clover leaf peep sight. So I'm hoping that'll focus there for you. Let's try here. And that combination, I love it. It is like perfect for this super thick brush stuff. I have it sighted in for 35 yards. So zero to 50 is my whole world. I will not shoot farther than that, but most likely my shots in here will be five to 10 yards anyhow. So we are going to push through and push through and see if we can't uh, quietly sneak through here and find some hogs and stick around and see what happens. But this is pig V log number five. Would be our fifth pig of the year if we get one here. And like I said, we're getting down the last couple days of my season down here, so. We got hogs right in there, right on the other side. We got hogs over there, I just heard them. I don't know how I'm gonna get to them. I gotta try and get in there to get a shot, that's brutal. But we got hogs over there. I can hear moving around in there. Well, we did it. <laughs> we got a hog with that 4570. And uh, we are only like, I'm going to say we are 75 yards from my truck. 75 yards. I mean, when I hunt WMAs here, I walk miles. Hang on. I walk miles and miles. And uh, I'm, I'm public land in Georgia here public access land and uh, you're allowed to use firearms where I am and sorry I think I'm still hearing pigs doesn't matter anyway so one is enough but anyway so I uh, I told you I just saw those pigs I saw where they were uh, you know I could hear them in there it took me 15 minutes to wiggle in there just moving through very very slow then uh, I got in close while they must have just started getting my wind because uh, two big ones and uh, a couple medium sized pigs got up out of there and they were, st you know, they, they got up and started walking away like they didn't quite have me but they knew something was right and they didn't want to stay in there and I uh, saw the little ones, the smaller ones go first I'm like ah and then I saw a big one like, Ooh, and then there was another one it was just a little smaller than that one and uh when he turned the other ones went straight well that one then turned this way like swung he was going this way and he cut this way and he stopped for a second gave me that chance and boom and i put it in and uh that bullet hit right in front of the hip you know on a quartering away shot and I, there's no exit so that bullet went all the way up through the front i think just hit the ground like a stone boom done dropped it right there 
uh, dead instantly. That 4570 round, that huge 405 grain uh, heavy expansion bullet, it, it, like I said, it's <laughs> pig's done. But anyway, we have our number five Georgia pig right there is pig number five and uh i am very very excited now i gotta get some pictures taken get this thing in a bag and uh we got pig five pig number five public you know public land georgia public land pig number five my first with a rifle which i will do again that was amazing here's the round i found it 4570 it's a 405 grain jacketed soft point about a 65 70 pound hog went in right in front of the rear hip right you know right through the guts right in front of the rear hip on a court, steep quartering away and it actually lodged in his neck right under the you know like right behind his skull is where this actually where i found it rested in there when i went to make the ring cut around the, the head when i was boning it out i i saw it stuck in there crashed in like that and uh, uh but there it is right there you know, like I said, it's uh didn't expand as much as I would have expected, but again, there's this is a a 65 to 70 pound sow, so there's not a lot of not a lot of resistance here, and I didn't hit any bone until it got up by the skull, which is pretty much done. You know, like I said, came in front of the the rear hip, uh, and uh, went straight up and through, and you know, right between the center of the rib cage, and kind of came to stop right by the neck and the back of the you know back of the skull so uh but there it is did the trick like i said dropped right in his tracks done game over but 4570 this is a buffalo bore 405 grain jacketed hollow point standard velocity not the high velocity this is their standard velocity one uh, i think it's going 16 50 or something feet per second but uh that's it right there that's what it did and uh very happy guy and i only gotta go 70 yards to the truck and uh, so it's going to make life a real easy process to uh, uh, get this thing boned out and uh, packed out real short distance. So, all right, I'm going to shoot some pictures. We'll see what happens. And uh, that's pig vlog number five. Probably my last, it's probably my last pig hunt for the year. Uh, I will be back down here in August to my place down here in August. I may try and get out one or two days during that trip. Uh, and then otherwise, it's not till next year, December, but I'm loving this. This be down here, you know, next year. We plan on being down here from mid-December through mid-April, nonstop. And I, I love this pig hunting. This is, this, is more, this is better to me than deer hunting. I Don't get me wrong, I love deer hunting. Pig hunting wins, hands down. My absolute favorite thing to do uh, is to hunt these pigs. I straight up love it. The food is incredible. Everything about it is incredible. The environments are incredible. The adventure is incredible. The snakes, the gators, the spiders, the size of your face, the uh, you know the the constant dangers, the BS, the chance of getting turned around, lost, stuck, stabbed, sticked, poked, all the stuff that's out here just makes it so much fun and so exciting. And uh, there's just a thrill and adventure to it. I love it. So, all right, thanks for watching.